Welcome on in folks. We do have a severe weather alert day for tomorrow afternoon and evening in deep east Texas. Now the Storm Prediction Center every single day they issue outlooks for day one through day eight. Day one being the day that they're issuing the outlook and day eight being seven days away from that initial issuing of the outlook. But as we look at the severe weather outlook valid for tomorrow or day two, we've got a level three enhanced risk of severe weather that does include southern Houston, all of Trinity and Angelina counties, and then pointing to the south towards extreme southwestern Sabine and most of San Augustine counties. And this is where I do expect strong to severe thunderstorms to pop up as we move into tomorrow afternoon. Further off to the north, we're still going to see rain, but the tornado and every other severe weather threat that we have in play tomorrow is much lower than what we're going to see in deep east Texas. Okay, let's get into future cast because we've got a lot of moving parts here. First and foremost, I do expect those clouds to increase overnight tonight, so we'll start this from about 10 minutes from right now, partly cloudy skies, partly to mostly cloudy across East Texas, and we see more clouds by midnight, but no rain prior to midnight. However, by tomorrow morning, starting six, seven, eight o'clock, we will see rain in the area, which could mean a messy morning commute. I don't expect any severe weather tomorrow morning because we're just going to be too cool. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s and lower 60s for most of it, but by the time we get into noon, it does start to heat up a little bit in deep East Texas as a warm front begins to move further off to the north. You can see those showers and thunderstorms on radar at noon, getting closer to three better and uh, stronger storms beginning to emerge in deep east Texas through four or five o'clock. Still seeing that chance for showers and thunderstorms, albeit less widespread, but still some storms in deep east Texas that we will have to monitor closely. And then that rain moves out of the area by Friday. So here are the individual severe weather threats. Tornadoes, it's not low, it's medium, but again, that's only for deep east Texas. I don't expect any tornado activity for places like Tyler, Longview and Jackson. Jacksonville that flash flood threat. If we do see the training of showers and thunderstorms, that's going to be ranked at a medium and then the damaging wind gust and large hail. They're going to be secondary threats for us tomorrow, but it is possible that we do see some small hail as far north as Tyler and Longview. And this is what we're talking about on the tornado probability. The highest threat is in the yellow there, but the 2% risk of tornadoes, which is very low, is only as far north as Jacksonville and Hinder where we do see the higher instability, that's where our main threat is going to be. It's places like Groveton, Apple Springs, to the south of Crockett, Lufkin, Zavala, places like that. That's where we're going to see that higher tornado threat. Okay, here is the severe and rainfall timeline. Again, this is valid from tonight to Thursday. I do expect for most of your Thursday, we will see rainfall across the entire area. The higher tornado threat will occur between 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon afternoon and midnight that is indicated for regions in the yellow. So anywhere from Hempville all the way over to Crockett, that's where the highest tornado threat is going to occur. And once again, everybody sees the rain. Not everybody sees the severe weather. So with widespread rain, most of us could see one to two inches of rainfall. There are the next seven days. Again, it is a very low severe weather threat for Tyler Longview and Jacksonville near a 100% chance of rain Thursday will be dry for the remainder of your seven day forecast. Remain weather aware, especially if you live to the south of Lufkin and Nacogdoches, where our highest tornado threat is going to be. Maybe a few showers Friday and Saturday for the latest weather forecast. You can head on over to Fox 51.